Are we rolling? I think we're rolling. Hey, Gender Queer Chat, it's Joe once again. It's been, um, I don't know, at least a month, I think, since I uploaded the last video. I am now nine weeks post-op from my breast reduction, which I would like to show off a little bit better than I did last time because um, this is uh, just a crappy old t-shirt, but I will just show you that I have an Underworks binder on, which has made my life infinitely more tolerable because that idiot doctor left me rather large. I was previously an H cup, he left me an F cup. So it was a horrible experience just on one level and on the other level, you know, so much better. So um, again, focusing on the good, not the bad. I've had a couple of complications. One is that my lip is still numb after all these weeks. Um, and also I have a funny ridge under this breast. It was a different kind of surgery called Le Jour, and um, there's no under anchor scar, so it's just a vertical scar. And if you sew, or if you do any sort of sewing, you'll know um, when you make a dart, like when you take in a pair of pants, there's sometimes a little pucker right where the dart tapers. I guess they made a taper, and it puckers at the bottom. It looks like my third nipple, so it is very painful still. But everyone keeps telling me it's only nine weeks, it's only nine weeks, you know, you gotta give it a lot of six months to a year sometimes. Um, what else is new and exciting in my life? I got bangs. Did I have bangs when I, I can't remember. Yeah, I, so when did I last upload? Had I gone to Memphis? No. So on September 1st, like my favorite rock star dropped dead of a heart attack. His name was Jimmy Jameson. He was the second lead singer for Survivor, which sang Eye of the Tiger. But Jimmy Jameson never sang Eye of the Tiger. He replaced the guy who sang Eye of the Tiger. Anyway, I was medicated, I think, from the surgery. And I wept like a baby, like I couldn't contain my grief. And so I decided to go to the public memorial in Memphis, which was kind of fun. It was actually really good. To, I somehow got the time off work, don't ask me how my boss was amazing, to give it to me after I'd already missed uh, you know, four weeks for surgical leave and four weeks for vacation just prior to that. So, uh, yeah, I drove to Memphis at the end of September for a memorial. And I was wearing a very tight, uh, like a yoga top that uh, I was gone for five days. And um, it felt really good. Like if the, the more compressed they are, the better they feel. So I've did, and, and I was wearing like small yoga tops, like those little bra-ish type of, what are they called? I don't even know what they're called. They're small, little stretchy tops, kind of like a bra, but they, they're they not very supportive. But I've decided now to go like full hog, whole hog, full frontal, underworks binders, the whole nine yards. I have three of these um, underworks binders. This one is the, the thinner one. They're a little bit industrial, I will tell you. They're, they're made out of this really strange fabric that's kind of crunchy. Can you, can you see that? Um, in fact, this one is kind of ill-fitting, um, and they, they don't allow for, I'll take this off, they don't really allow for certain shirts, like you can definitely see them through. Yesterday I was wearing one that you could definitely see most of it through, and that's kind of annoying. I wish they were slightly better made, but they're excellent for what they are, which is complete compression. I mean, really complete compression. I couldn't be happier on that front. Uh, I think I should try a few other brands before I make a recommendation, but um, Underworks is a very famous FTM brand for chest binders, and um, I had heard good things about them, so I thought I would order a few. I will keep you guys posted uh, as I continue along my uh, flat-chested journey into... Um, and hey, yeah, it's already October, so it's already been a year since I did that uh, Pride Day at the high school. So hopefully they'll do that again this year. I'm not exactly sure. They haven't contacted me, but my name is still out there as kind of a go-to guest speaker for these different things. So hopefully I'll get to do that again this year. I'm really looking forward to that if that happens. Um, catch you guys later.